I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories Oh, oh la da da oh, oh la da 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 oh, oh da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Welcome to my channel and to Vlogmas. If you're new here, thank you for joining because these daily vlogs are one of my favorite things to do. I usually do them twice a year, once in December because who doesn't love good December Christmassy vibes? And then last year I did them in June so that way we could have some like really great summer vibes and I am still thinking on when I'm going to be doing it this year because my first baby is going to be born um, in, well, her due date's April 1st, so it might be March, it might be April. So I'm hoping that everything goes well and I can do vlogs again in June, which would be so fun because we go to the beach and I'll have a baby with me. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so great. But today is the first day of Vlogmas. I am off today and my last day of work is tomorrow like forever I will then get to be a stay-at-home mom that has been my dream if you don't know anything about me um, I've actually been struggling to get pregnant for seven years and we ended up doing two IVF cycles and the second IVF cycle worked I am almost 23 weeks pregnant actually um, on Saturday it's with a little girl we named her Alice Ophelia and so I am just so so excited that so many of my dreams are coming true where I'm getting to stay at home with my kids and everything. That's gonna be so exciting. So far this morning, um, I got ready, but I'm not gonna do like makeup or anything, I don't think, because I do have to work tomorrow. So I just had washed my hair yesterday and it's just whatever. But probably on Saturday morning, um, I'll probably like do my hair and makeup because we have Alvin's sister coming over and we're meeting her boyfriend for the first time. And so then I can maybe do like a little makeup hair tutorial. Um, I had asked you guys on Instagram like what you wanted to see in these Vlogmas videos and actually some of what you guys had said I already have planned. So today we have really big plans of getting a lot of stuff done. On the agenda um, I want to decorate my little free library. If you didn't know I have one and I have a video of me building it. I got the kit um, in the summer and I built it actually right before I got pregnant. I decorated it for Halloween which I also have a video about that as well I'll try and link it up here but maybe I'll put it down below and so I wanted to decorate it for Christmas so I actually already got um, Christmas books to fill it with and I'll show those to you later once we're actually doing it and I have like just two little decorations so I was thinking of going to the dollar store today with you all and finding maybe a few 
other things I could use to decorate the Little Free Library. So that's a big thing on the agenda. Um, I'm upstairs right now because I have a lot of card orders to do. Um, I have an Etsy shop now where I make and sell my TBR card game that I play here on my channel. So if you didn't see my December TBR, um, that game I actually sell. And so I have tons of orders that came in for Black Friday. So I'm gonna be working on some of those this morning while I drink my coffee. And I also want to bake fresh loaf bread today. I know, I have like so much on my agenda. Hopefully we can get this all done. It is only like eight o'clock in the morning. I wake up really early now being pregnant for some reason. So it's eight o'clock. I usually can get, you know, a decent amount done before I get really tired later in the afternoon. But I made this like loaf bread recipe um, last month and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I do have a sourdough starter, but this is not a sourdough recipe. So for those of you that don't have sourdough starters, you can totally make this because it's like flour, butter and like yeast or something like that. It is the best bread. Alvin wants me to make it all the time and I actually have an advent calendar that has jams and jellies in it this year and I haven't opened it yet today but I was like okay I need to make fresh bread because mm, just eating like jams and jellies with like fresh bread is going to be so delicious. So I want to bake that or make it and bake it later and then I'll open my jelly advent. I did open my Nespresso advent this year um, but it was just the Columbia coffee which I've already had and I don't love Nespresso coffees. Like I love their espresso pods but their actual coffee pods aren't my favorite and last month I did get a Keurig on sale um, just for us to have like some drip coffee kind of for when people come over because I was running into an issue with just having my Nespresso and just having my pour over like when my dad came to visit he is 75 years old and like you know, those things don't really make sense to him. So I got a Keurig just for us to have like regular drip coffee when we need it, but I still use my Nespresso all the time. And I got the advent calendar again this year, even though I've had a lot of the pods because I haven't had them in a while. Like some of the ones that I remember maybe not being my favorites, I literally haven't had them since last year. So I thought, why not taste them again? Plus they put some newer pods in there that I've been wanting to try. So like some of their holiday ones that came out, I didn't buy like the full sleeves of them because I was afraid like, will I like it, will I not like it? I think they like redid the hazelnut one. Um, and so I had like looked it up and it said that they were gonna be in this advent calendar, which is one of the reasons why I got it. One of the other advents that I have this year, I know that was a big thing when I asked on Instagram. I am obsessed with advent calendars. I actually created an advent calendar for Alvin. I um, talked all about it over on my main channel where I showed you what all of the stuff, but he's gonna be unboxing it every day here on this channel in these daily vlogs. So if you wanna just go see what everything is, you can check out that video on my main channel but if you want to be surprised with him and see his reactions that's gonna be on the daily vlogs and I actually did already film it this morning because he had to go to work so I'll just go ahead and put that footage in here Been the biggest number for oh man this is actually oh wait is that one or seven? Oh, this is the big big mm-hmm oh, <laughs> oh. how did you put that there yeah that's why I wrapped it right away because it was like really heavy. I'm sorry for all that. Well, I put it there and then I put the presents around it, so. I hope it's a, I hope it's a, a toy race car. Okay. <laughs> Grant thinks it's for him. Oh, that's why it's so heavy. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. And Jackie loves advent calendars so much, she gives me one. <laughs> Look at that. So I've got, folks, for those of you that are tuning in, I've got some tw 2022 beer advent calendar, beers and cheers, yep. cheers and beers. Yep. Ugh. That's what I ran in to get at Aldi. Man, so that means I get number one yeah, and see, drink it on my way to work. Well, that's why, I th <laughs> that's why I thought you could open it in the morning because you might want to put it in the, in the fridge. fridge yeah. yeah. Well, look at that. Well, here, while we're here, let's take a gander at this. 
Let's see what we got behind uh, door number one. Door number one. Oh. Oh, it happened twice or not? Those cans are kind of nice. Yeah, it's a cute little can. Might not drink it. Maybe I'll just collect them. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding. Okay. Boom. It's a little Bavarian style wheat beer. Okay. So very nice. Nice. So obviously all of the days of his advent are not going to be really big gifts like that, but I wanted that advent calendar to be like the day one because then he can open it like throughout the month. Um, some of the other ones are going to be like some smaller gifts, but I also got Graham's advent calendar again this year because he loved it so much last year. And before Alvin left, I decided to let him open it because Graham was just like so excited from Alvin's advent. So I'll put that footage in here. Graham already knows. <laughs> It's right next to it. <laughs> it's like you remembered that like wrapping paper meant Christmas, which meant Advent. It's about that time. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't even opened it yet. You better hope it's a treat today and not a toy. Well, I guess you like toys now. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> All right, Ooh, um, buddy. All right, this looks like a one. Yep. Oh, wait. That looks like a one. What? That's a 10. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoa. You get a box. Uh, <laughs> you got <laughs> treats? What'd you get? This is pug nose. <laughs> oh, it's a little gingerbread men's. Aw. That's what, the one from last from year. The, from last they just year. had it left over. <laughs> they just repackaged it. Well, I guess, yeah, they just put it in a new box. It smells gingerbread. You want a little gingerbread? A gingerbread yeah, mana. Your eyes are, your eyes are just tripping. Wait, hold, hold, let me come on. It's like if his eyes could come out of his head, they could come out of his head. And feast. And run. Oh, or stay. Oh, he decided to have, these are, the, are these the ones he chokes on? Okay. Can I see what one looks like? Now you gotta give them that one too. They are like little gingerbread men. You want this one? You gotta sit. Hey, you gotta sit. <laughs> it's eyeballs. Yeah, they're coming out of the head. All right, good boy. All right. <laughs> so yeah, all this stuff happened um, before eight o'clock today this morning. So that is how my life is now, which is kind of crazy. That's one of the reasons why I love um, filming like these daily vlogs and stuff is even to see just how my life changes on day to day basis or month to month, I should say, because I love looking back at the daily vlogs. It's almost like a family video and just like seeing like, oh, what did I do two years ago or what did I do three years ago? So I'm really excited um, for this series, especially with me being pregnant now. So I'll have some pregnancy related things in here as well. This is like a really long intro, but I forgot to say, I also put together a family Christmas competition for my family this year. I'm from a really big family. I have 10 siblings and a lot of us live kind of like all over the United States. So I put together a competition um, with challenges throughout the month and one family is going to win the challenge and I'm going to be gifting them um, with a big prize for that. It's like a gift card to go out to eat plus a new board or card game because my family is really big into playing games. So I actually have the first part of that tonight. They actually don't know what it is, but I sent them. I wrapped um, a gingerbread house kit for every single family and I mailed that to them with all the directions and rules and stuff for the whole entire month. And so they're actually unwrapping that tonight. I'm gonna be on a Zoom call with them and then I'm going to give them like an hour to build these gingerbread houses. And obviously they had no way of planning for it. And so they're just gonna open it and then they're allowed to use anything that's in their house in order to decorate. And then all the families will vote on the best house. And that's how points go. So like there's a bunch of challenges throughout the month. Um, they're not all on Zoom. This was actually the only one on Zoom, uh, but I'm excited because maybe I can share some of those photos and some things throughout these daily vlogs. And then I should be able to tell you and announce the winners. So I know some of you guys know my family, like my little sister Shannon, who has Remy, um, and then my brother, who has Maggie. Um, we just went and did her first birthday. I filmed that on my main channel, but I have even more siblings than that. So it's gonna be really fun. 
Okay, I'm gonna start working on these cards, but I wanna start listening to an audiobook um, while I'm doing this, so that way I can get my reading in. So I put out my December TBR um, just a little while ago, like, I don't know, two days ago or whatever. Um, and so I need to pick what I'm wanting to read, but I don't know what I wanna read. So I gotta look and see like what books were on my TBR again and figure out what I should start listening to. I guess I also need to look up to see if I can get these on Libby. It's 10, 18, I've been working on TBR cards, but I just heated up some leftovers for like a breakfast. Probably weird to eat this for breakfast, but I didn't really wanna like go down and cook plus um, we had gotten back like just this past weekend from visiting family from Thanksgiving and stuff So I haven't actually gone to the grocery store. I've just been making like odds and ends and stuff So this weekend, um, I'm actually going to be meal planning. I might have time to do that today I'm not sure. Um, but I'm gonna probably do like a pickup order um, for Walmart on Saturday morning. So this was just um ground deer that my dad had given me when we were up visiting him some frozen peas and then it was uh boxes of the bonza like the chickpea pasta but it was like their mac and cheese version and the reason i get that is number one it actually does taste just like white noodles it's so good but it's made with chickpeas so the protein is a lot more than regular pasta so it's like 15 grams of protein per serving so that's just what this was um and i made it the other day and i was just eating the leftovers of it i also decided to start listening to uh you made a full of death with your beauty so i'll put like what it looks like here the cover because i'm just listening to it on libby and it looks like i am 17 percent in it already um, it's definitely a lot like smuttier than I thought. Um, so it's pretty like muddy and vulgar and stuff. So if you, um, you know, get uncomfortable like listening to that stuff, then you probably wouldn't like it. So far, what it's been about is the main character, I think her name is Faye or Faye, but I think, I think they say it Faye. She lost her husband to some type of accident. I don't think that we found out what the like crazy detrimental accident was. Um, but it's been years now and she's like starting to get back into like the dating scene. Um, and so it's just kind of been a lot of like these people that she's like dating. So yeah, so far it's just been, I mean, slightly like funny and entertaining. Um, I haven't really gotten to any type of like super emotional part. Like obviously she lost her husband, but it hasn't really been touched on enough for me to really have those emotions or like feel bad for her but i mean it's been pretty good i think this next uh part of me doing the cards i might just switch to listening to some spotify um i think i'll put on like the weekend playlist or something like that i've been listening to like a bunch of different music like obviously taylor swift's midnights i've been listening to christmas music but i haven't listened to the weekend in a while oh i also started listening to imagine dragons again because they had like a newer album out and there's like four or five songs on there that are really good so i did start listening to them if you're part of my uh patreon i usually share like my playlists or certain songs that i'm really loving at the moment so if you're a big music fan like me then you know you get to see all of that i'm actually going to look so I talked about Aardvark Book Club in my December TBR. They had sent me a box of sample books. They are very similar to Book of the Month, but they have more underrated authors um, and new releases. So I actually decided I'm gonna sign up with them for December, um, and I have not looked at their December picks yet. So let's see if there's anything that I am interested in. I am not like a sponsor or anything. I had just reached out to them, asking them more about their program, and they had you know sent me that box and everything um but this like when i'm signing up i'm paying with my own money and everything okay it looks like estes esteshiga I, I do not know how to say this title um this is debut author contemporary fiction Ooh, it's about social media at 19 she was an instagram celebrity now at 35 she works behind the cosmetic counter at the black and white store peddling anti-aging products to women seeking physical and spiritual transformation Ooh, i actually like stuff with like 
social media and things like that. That one's actually a good contender. Okay, then we have Meredith Alone. This is contemporary fiction, includes a cat. I don't really care about cats, so we're gonna skip that one. Twice in a Lifetime, this is contemporary fiction and romance. The Time Traveler's Wife meets Una Out of Order. Oh, I love Una Out of Order. Isla has fled the city for small town Missouri in the wake of a painful and exhausting year. With her chronic anxiety at a fever pitch, the last thing she expects is to meet a genuine romantic prospect and she doesn't but she does get a text from a man who seems to think he's her husband obviously a wrong number except when she points this out the mystery texter sends back a picture of them on their wedding day i am totally getting this one. Oh my gosh i've never heard of this twice in a lifetime by melissa Barron. this is one of the reasons why i wanted to sign up for aardvark compared to book of the month because book of the month has a lot of like the same very popular authors like riley stager and ruth ware and like things like that and i want to find more of these books that you know i haven't heard of these authors before or i've never heard of these books before this sounds so 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 good i am totally adding that okay factory girls this is historical fiction, so probably not for me. This is in Northern Ireland in 1994. We're going to skip that one. Um, none of this would have happened if Prince were alive. This is contemporary fiction. Normally, they don't have as many contemporary fictions. Like, I've been looking at them the last few months, and they had, like, fantasy. They had sci-fi. They had a few mysteries and thrillers. But for some reason, this month, it seems like they have a lot of contemporary fiction. Okay, this one says, perfect for fans of Maria Semple and Jennifer Weiner. Weiner? I don't know how to say that name. This smart and witty debut novel follows Ramona through the 48 hours after her life has been upended by the describe discovery of her husband's affair and an approaching category four hurricane. I think I'm definitely going to do twice in a lifetime because that is just amazing. And then I think I'm going to do that first one I talked about too, Aesthetica, because I guess it's like esthetician, but like Aesthetica, is that how you say it? I don't know, maybe I'm saying it wrong. I think I'm gonna do that as an add-on because their add-ons are $9.99 and you know, why not? It's December, it's Christmas time. Treat myself, right? Okay, it is 1.11 in the afternoon. Um, I'm gonna take a break on card orders and stuff and start doing the other things that I wanted to do today. So we are going to work on decorating the little free library that I have. I do need to go to the dollar store, but things that I got off of Amazon, I ended up getting a two pack of the little like garden flags. This one, like that is super cute. So this one, and there's also this one. It was a two pack for like, I don't know, seven bucks or something like that. So I think I'm gonna do the red one because I feel like that would stand out and pop really well out there. And then I also got some waterproof battery powered Christmas lights, which I'm hoping that the dollar store has some garland because I actually got, well, you can hardly see it, but the garland that's on my stairs and then there's a little bit of garland um, at the bottom of my TV. I got those from the dollar store. And so I'm hoping that they still have it this year because I got that like last year, I think, maybe even the year before that. These are also on a timer. So that's good. I can, well, I gotta find batteries, I guess, around here. I should have asked Alvin this morning. Um, but these, I think, are like all different colored, like green and red and yeah, multicolored. So I'm gonna put this up. I'm hoping to find garland to wrap the garland around. Uh, I'm gonna put the flags up and then we'll see what other like maybe small decorations there are um, at the dollar store. And now let me show you the books that I got in order to put in the library because I'm theming it for like Christmas time. And I got all of these off of book outlet um, during, I think one of their, no, it was before Black Friday. It was like buy two, get one free or something. Books I'm gonna be putting in, I got Nicholas Sparks' The Wish because I think when I read the synopsis, it said something about this happens during Christmas. So got that one. I got a Holly Jolly Diwali. Um, 
So that's like a romance. I think some of the, well, I guess most of these are romances. I got a season four second chances. I mean, that's super wintry and nice. I got all I want for Christmas, which is also romance. These are really nice books. Um, so this is Christmas. A lot of these I think were only like four or $5 that I got. I got One by One by Ruth Ware because of it being like snowy. I think this is a thriller. Yeah, it happens um, at a ski resort, I guess, in the French Alps. I mean, that seems like such a nice wintry book. I got Sophie Kinsella's uh, Christmas Shopaholic, Eight Perfect Hours, which is another romance. I guess most of these are romances. Oh, well, hopefully people like romance. And then Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. So those are all the books. I'll probably put half of them in the little free library and then in like a week or so i will restock it with the other ones that i have i also have a few bookmarks um, from last year these were my like last year's patreon bookmarks and so i have um some of these that are like uh what are these called ornaments and like mittens and stuff and then i have two uh, like wintry ones. So I'm gonna put these out in the, um, I have a little like jar or something. Maybe if I could find like a cute Christmas mug at the dollar store, I'll get like a dollar Christmas mug and then I can put that instead of the jar so that it looks like extra Christmassy. But I always like putting um, some themed bookmarks out there for people that want a bookmark with their book. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna put my shoes on. Let's go to the dollar store and just see what we can find. I also will probably get a like Coke there because that sounds really good. I don't know, the carbonation. I did get a peach kombucha um, in order for me to drink over the next few days because anything carbonated is just so good right now. Should probably make sure I drink enough water though. And then when we get back, I need to start on the bread because that definitely has to rise for a few hours i think a few different times i probably should have started it before i went to the dollar store but i really want to get the little free library done before it would start getting too dark outside and then maybe also later i can meal plan with you all um man this is a busy day it's like the first day of vlogmas always feels like i have so many activities and things to do and then tomorrow is probably going to be like really boring because i have to work all day long so i promise it'll get better after that because it's my last day of work dollar store was number one it was really busy but there was so much good stuff there i love the dollar store so much so i'm going to show you guys what i got to decorate the little free library and then we're gonna go ahead and decorate and put it together so first off look at this cute sign so i'm hopefully gonna be able to put it in the ground if not maybe Alvin will be able to do it for me later. I'm not sure how like rough the ground is at the moment, but like so super cute. Then I got um, a few different kinds of candy canes because I thought I could put them with the bookmarks for if kids are around, even though I don't have like kids books in my little free library because it's so tiny, I just can't fit them all. But I got regular ones. I got lemon head ones. And these ones are Cold Stone Creamery flavored. So they're strawberry, birthday cake, and mint chocolate chip. I did get a ginger ale, which I've been drinking, and I got a Coke. And then I got this little thing. This is gonna be perfect to put the candy canes and the bookmarks in here. So I'm glad I got that because I didn't think about that when I did my Halloween one. And I did find the garland. So this is 15 feet 
I might only need one, I'm not sure, but you know, you can never go wrong. I could always put garland up at the top of my stairs here. So I got that and I got a tree skirt. I thought that would look really cute underneath um, my little free library. I did get some gum. I've been wanting gum and apparently it like works really well if you have like reflux and indigestion with being pregnant, which I don't really, but just to have it around. Then I got two of these, well, it's a pack of one, but two of these bows. I thought maybe I could put them on the door or maybe I could just put like two little bows on the garland. And I also got this gold tinsel garland. I figured it would go really nicely with the green garland. And so it'll be like green and gold and then the red. And lastly, I got these solar lights. How cute are these? So I'm gonna try and stick these in the ground like around the uh, little free library. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so cute if they actually work. I hope they work. So that's what I got and let's go ahead. I'm gonna try and find batteries for the lights and then we're gonna put this all together outside. I'm gonna keep my coat on because it's kind of cold. First, I guess I'll open up these um, candy canes and put them in this so I can just take this down. That looks so adorable, I love it. Okay, so I brought all my stuff down here. Hopefully this is gonna work out the way that I think. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in here for now. This I'll take back up. I didn't bring the books down yet. I'll do that after I set it all up here. I'm gonna put my flag. So I think this I can just put around the bottom, does it? Hmm, I thought it would like Velcro. It doesn't Velcro. I think I'll do the garland first and then the lights after the garland probably. I wanna do this top part. I might wanna do both of the garlands just to make it like thicker. But let's look what it looks like with this on too. Actually, this might look really nice together. That looks really pretty. I love that. Okay, so this we obviously have to put in here behind everything. Let's go above here. I love that. Now, let's put a bow. Beautiful. That looks cute. Oh my gosh. Should go somewhere here. Okay, I picked five books. I picked one by one. Christmas Shopaholic, So This Is Christmas, Royal Holiday, and All I Want for Christmas. So I'm gonna put these in here. Oh my gosh, that looks so, so cute. So here's the inside. They can get bookmarks, they can get candy canes, books. Those are just so beautiful. And then if we close that, then this is the outside. I will get a video tonight once it's dark so that way we can see like what the lights look like and hopefully maybe those will get enough solar light in order to work. I'm not sure. We'll have to see but I love it. It looks so so cute.
I just uh, like punched down my bread dough and put it in the loaf pans, but it has to have a second rise for like an hour or so. So while it's doing the second rise, I'm gonna make dinner. Um, I'm just gonna make some chili because I have like some really old green peppers and I have some ground deer that my dad gave me and I picked up some cans of tomato. Gosh, sorry, Graham's eating and he's like, he always chokes on air. Um, but I have canned tomato products that I picked up uh, quickly at the store the other day, just so that way I could like use up green peppers and stuff. Oh, and then I'm gonna take you out. I can see the lights from my little free library from here. So I'm gonna have to show you guys cause it looks really cool from my end. I also ordered a, um, like motion censored stick round light to go in the library um because i've been meaning to get one and i haven't yet so i finally ordered that so it should be here on sunday and then i can put it out there but i wasn't sure um how i should film me making chili since i already did the bread kind of um b-roll status where it's just like music on top of it and stuff which by the way i will put the recipe down below uh, I do have a recipe for my chili that I can put down below, but the recipe that I originally had made years ago when I was keto didn't have any beans in it. So all you have to do is add your favorite beans. Um, I think I have a can of kidney beans and black beans, so I'm gonna throw that in here. Um, but yeah, I'll put all the recipes down below. I'm gonna go ahead and start heating this up. And this chili is gonna be filled with peppers because like, look how wrinkly and old these are. But they're still good. We're still gonna eat them. All right, this is the uh, ground deer. And I'm just gonna put this in here so that way it can start browning. And while that's browning, I'm gonna cut up peppers and the onions. I'm also gonna eat two clementines. I've actually been loving. I don't know if it's because it's like the winter, so they're in season and they're really good, but man, these have been like, the best clementines I have ever eaten in my life. <laughs> They're so good. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna cut these into like a medium dice. throw these with the ground beef. All right, I'm also gonna cut up one onion to saute with all of this. Okay, I'm going to add a can of crushed tomatoes to this and a can of diced tomatoes. These are the big cans. I should have used my big pot actually. Um, and then I'm probably gonna add a little bit of water. And then I have small can of kidney beans and black beans. Hopefully this isn't gonna overflow. Okay. Now we're gonna spice it up. Obviously, salt and pepper. I'm gonna be using smoked paprika, chili powder, oregano, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes. All right, this is what it looks like, but we're gonna let it simmer. Um, for a good while, probably 30 minutes or so until the flavors meld and the peppers are all cooked and stuff like that. So I'm gonna turn it down and it's just gonna sit here and, ooh, those are rising super nicely. So we're gonna be getting our oven ready for that soon. Oh, while the chili is cooking, um, let's go outside and look at the little free library in the dark. There it is down there. All right, let's go look. Oh, it looks so cute. It looks like two of these work. I guess 
the blue and the yellow. Maybe they didn't get enough light. I'm not sure. But that is super cute. And then once I get the light in here, um, that will look great for people that walk up and want to see the books and stuff. But super, super cute. I love it. Look at these loaves. They are rising so well. I went ahead and pulled them out and pre I'm preheating the oven. So once the oven's preheated, I will take the plastic wrap off, put them in the oven for like 30 to 35 minutes. And then I'm gonna open my jelly advent calendar. Look how gorgeous these are. I just um, brushed them with butter and I'm going to take them out of their pans then and let them cool off on a rack. And my chili's looking really good. It is almost seven o'clock. All right, my bread turned out so good. It smells so good and it's like super light and fluffy. I think this is better than even the first time I made it. Like this loaf looks like perfection of a loaf. Alvin's opening up the jelly advent, like the plastic on it so that way we can see what the first day is because I'm gonna try a bite of bread with my new jelly. Ooh, okay. So this is what the jelly advent looks like. These are like those jellies that come in like the little jars. So we have day one here, rhubarb strawberry spread. These jars are cute. I'm actually gonna wash these and keep them for when I do cheese boards. <laughs> okay, I love rhubarb and Alvin, your favorite jelly is strawberry. So let's, um, I'm gonna try this with a piece of bread here. Let's do it. Are you? Are me? Cheers. Thank. Okay. It's also very good bread. It is very, very good bread. And the jelly is good. It just tastes like strawberry to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would like be able to pick out the rhubarb, but it is really good. Yeah, no barb. No barb. Mmm. This bread is fluffy. We have a little bit left. These are actually pretty decent sized jars like they're not so little that you get you know one tiny bite or whatever man i'm so excited for the rest of these jellies i love jelly and jams you can make more icing all right the gingerbread houses went super well and now I am going to bed. It is late and I have to work in the morning.